guys, it's Nightsy here and welcome back to some more Sonic Adventure 2 Battle and this time we're going to continue from the dark story from last time where Shadow had a flashback on top of a giant tower and it's in relation to do with this uh, female called Maria and hopefully we're going to find out more about this and more about Shadow itself so let's continue and see what happens I'm Shadow the Hedgehog, the one and only ultimate life form. I took the Chaos Emerald from the National Reserve, and now the military and police are chasing me. I don't care if they know who I am because they'll never catch me. It's just a waste of time. There's no time for games. I have to get out of here. Fast! So basically for those of you who didn't notice earlier that, um, not to not to slack you off anything, but um just to inform you that um Shadow is the one who's reasonable for um for Sh uh, uh, Sonic having all the trouble with the military and he you know, he basically said that just then, uh, during the um intro thing. So yeah, he he was the one who broke into the bank and saw the chaos element. Who would have thunk? <laughs> but, you know, at first I didn't I didn't really suspect it, I was like, oh whoa, it's a new character, that's all I thought, oh whoa. But anyway, yeah. So as you can see, Shadow is very much just like Sonic, you know, with his speed stages and stuff. But he has his, um, his hubbishy things. Um, and I think they're, they're pretty cool, I think that's what makes Shadow unique, if you ask me. And I, I really enjoy using, um, Shadow, I think, in this game. It's just a shame that he was only in a few of the missions in, in this game. But then again, he was a new character alongside Rouge, so obviously Eggman was going to have the spotlight. But still, it was a bit of a shame. I think they could have done more, you know, more force that side. Since, you know, he is he's someone that needs more, more of a spotlight for himself to show off the you know, to show himself off and all that stuff, but don't get me wrong, they did have a good job, it's just that they should have done more, I think, they should have fed us more with Shadow and, you know, all that good stuff, but, oh well, he does have a, um, a, a, um, a decent amount in this game, I'd say, but I would want more of this, because, Shadow is my favourite character out of the Dark Souls. And as well, just to say that I think it's the most interesting. And that's due to the, you know, the extra characters and stuff, obviously. But then again, there wasn't that much focus on Rouge. But then again, we know Rouge. She basically wants to get all the treasure, have it for herself, and look like a bling girl. Look all innocent. Uh, but anyway, um, I tried to do something then that I failed to do absolutely terribly on. I could actually do it from there. Maybe not. No, I'll do it this way. But anyway, you can go along like these pole things. Along the, um, yeah, along here. And you can get to the top and stuff. And um, it has like some stuff there basically. Like, and um, just to say this is a place where you can do a secret mission for one of the- Oh no! For one of the chow- Come on, get back up there. That wasn't what I wanted to do. There we go. Nice and fast down the rail. Cool stuff. Cool beans. Oh, we managed to hit that thing. Oh, impressive. Anyway, I think we want to go this way because it's where the rings are. Yeah, I think it is. Right, here we go. There we go. Nailed it. 1,000 points for being awesome. I think that's a pretty cool feature as well with the grinding that I didn't really mention earlier. You know, when you um, when when you jump off from the end of the rail and there's like a little like, slope or whatever, or just a bit of a jump. You can pull off a trick and get more points. I think that's pretty impressive. Oh, I failed that. <laughs> and up here, you can 
there's a way you can like um I don't wanna do it terribly. But you can get up here. This is what I do to do it the cheapest getaway. <laughs> but um there's two item boxes here and you can get the run one or the um or the ring one, like what I just got then. Or you could just kind of do it this way, but you have to you have to get it right, so you wanna get it at the right jump and right speed. I nearly had it then. Just went a bit too far up. Let's try it now. There we go. So off we go. Running at near supersonic speed, but not as fast, because obviously Sonic is unbeatable. Oh, and I went round the ramps that had um both of the ramps that had no speed panels on them. Because there was one that was very similar but near the start of the stage. But anyway, we don't have to brag about that because we have just finished this stage. Alright. A very good score if you ask me. Very good. And it's a B. Hmm, too easy for Three B's in a row. Very happy. And we got another emblem. Nice and shiny. We like nice and shiny things, because they mean they're 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 rewarding. What? It all starts with this. So yeah, a we're taking back to this scene. Because he took the KSM yeah, off. Now I know what's going on. The military has mistaken me for the likes of you. So, where do you think you're going with that emerald? Say something, you fake hedgehog! Chaos control! Oh, there we go. So that's how Sonic got caught by the military for a mistaken uh, for a mistake. Well, as a mistake. This is rude. Right, so we're in headquarters now. Base and we'll proceed to edit it now. <sighs> I hate to say it. I guess I'm going to have to find that key first. Yep. We're gonna have to get through. Oh no, it's this thing. I hate you, I don't like you. Right, so we have to find three of the gate keys to proceed on to find Eggman. And um it seems like she's on um a secret mission of some sort. And all will be explained later why. Like why she's um, talking to someone else or whatever. But I don't want to spoil it too much, you know. But anyways, I think we're getting close to where we can get the upgrade, but we're getting closer to that thing, so I don't want to do that. I'd rather go this way. And... Oh, it's a dead end. Oh, crap. I don't like you. Oh, please go away. Left eye of the eggfish. Oh, where are you? Please go away. Oh, okay. And we're close to one of the keys. Yeah. And it said above one of the eyes of something. Oh, the, yeah, that's it. The eggfish one. Yeah, the eggfish. So, can I... Yeah, go. So if you head into here, you'll see there's an upgrade. And we got the Hick Nails. You can dig into the ground or walls. Select dig in the action window, or simply press B when you're in the air or on a wall. So very much what um, uh, Knuckles had, the iron gloves. I also, yeah, I also forgot to mention that um, there's actually upgrades in the first 
Sonic Adventure game as well. So I think it's it's very good that they brought that back because it it adds that um, that uh, accomplishment feel because it would feel a bit sloppy if they just gave you everything at once. You'd be like, oh wait, what's all this stuff? What can I do with it? Centre of the ring. Okay. Let's try heading this way. See. No. It said center of the ring, didn't it? So is it in relation to Oh yes. Alright. Okay. Tight. So yeah, that's the reason to get the upgrade because it can be stuck in sticky situations where you need the pig nails. It's a strange name for an upgrade, I'd rather just call them like the the iron boots or something. I think that's much more fitting. A room with four flames. Oh, it's you, it's you. So the reason why I hate that thing is because it can, like, attack you, so... Not a good thing. Wait, what? Four flames. Oh, please go away. Go away. Yeah, if he, if he notices you, then you'll be zapped by a laser. So we don't want that. Maybe it's um up here by chance? No. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, obviously not there. I wasn't thinking it was there. More like. Hmm. Wait, hang on. Four flames. It was going off like around here. What? Oh, go away, please. Oh, thank God. There we go, we got it. We got the last key. So now we can find out what's going on with Eggman's evil plans. It's all too easy for me. Yeah, I guess. Well, you were lucky that you avoided that evil beetle thing. Not my forte to um, encounter things like that because they scare me. <laughs> it's a space transporter. The destination has been set to Ark. Wasn't that space colony shut down over 50 years ago? What's he doing up there anyway? Doesn't matter. It's my mission to find out what he's up to. I like how she's like her own woman. You know, she's she likes to do her own way, do her own things, not be under the command of anyone. I like it. So now we're playing the second man again in the Lost Colony. So this is the Space Colony Ark. I have to locate the central control room that Shadow mentioned before he left. Yes. And this central control room will have a vital role in this game and all will be revealed as we progress. So please stay patient for that. Yeah. So since this is a dark area, it's good to shoot things because as you could tell when I used a homing missile things lit up. So always good to use it around here. Especially when it's as dark as heck here. And I didn't really notice before. I think I've only just noticed. This is actually pretty sad. See, Eggman has a light right there on front and it projects on the wall. I've never actually noticed that, or unless that was a, a feature on the HD on the HD games, maybe. But that's pretty cool. I never noticed that. Well, anyways. Oh, an, an animal pop there. We'll collect you anyway, even though there's, there's not much interest to do. <laughs> Right, see, the room is lighting up like a Christmas tree. It's like it came early. Check out. I think there's um, there's another upgrade in this mission as well. I think, if I believe that my knowledge is correct, and it is, and we have, whoa, it's motion, jet engine. This allows you to hover when you hold down the A button during a jump. 
Ouch. That was very rude. I was talking. Try hovering to fly over it. Yep. And that's what we're going to do right now. I like that, um, his, um, jet heaven things. Yeah, is it jet heaven? <laughs> I just forgot what it was called. Yeah, I think it was jet heaven. Anyway, yeah, uh, I like that that has, like, a, um, blue sort of, um, light thing, I don't know. And I thought as well, at the start of the game, oh, go away, I didn't notice it. I didn't, yeah. Yeah, I know I didn't notice it, but anyway, I thought that, um, that his legs on his egg pod, like I, I said in the last episode, it's robot. It's not a robot. It's just like a machine, I guess, you know, something he uses as like a weapon. But yeah, the, it's like an egg pod thing, which I think is pretty cool. But I think I like uh, Tails and Tornado things uh, better. Much better. I can't remember if there's more or less stages in this story than the than the hero stages. I oh the hero story, sorry. So we'll be able to check that out because I think I recall there was uh, 17 stages, if I'm correct. Oh no, I just fell. No, I died. I got too distracted. And I had a good time. Oh well. It's bearable. It's fine. But I completely forgot what I was talking about for that. God damn it. It'll probably pop up in my head in a bit. I just need to think hard. Think really hard. No, I can't remember. <laughs> I bet it'll pop over my head soon. No, I'm just not trying too hard. I bet it'll pop up like around here now because I was going to talk about it like around here. Yeah, it was that that I think there's more stages in the dark story than the hero story. Because I do believe there are 17 stages in the hero story. Or unless I got 17 um 17 emblems like overall I just simply cannot bloody remember it's as simple as that I'll have to backtrack again but anyways oh I also forgot um, because I noticed this earlier when there was a cutscene oh I should have just gone but there was um, with the cutscene with Shadow and Sonic that um, Sonic can also get another upgrade that's um, different to the others because um, I said before that you know Tails and Sonic can get they can get an upgrade that is useful for completing the game 100% and all that stuff or the missions but um, it's a different type of upgrade that you can backtrack so you know a lot like the um, the laser blaster but it's not really that useful but look it's big <laughs> But um, I think it's called the uh, magic gloves, and basically you can turn enemies into like these balls. Uh, um, uh, okay, what I think I'll do is um, at the start of the next episode, I will get the upgrade and I will show you guys what you can do with it. Even though it is kind of pointless, it's tough. And it's good to fail. Right. No, we don't want. Oh, there we go. We're at the goal right there. And that thing was just in our way, just like you cannot pass. And then we're like, okay, sure. I'll just use my um, my homing missile. Bye bye. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we did actually get a good score though, even though I died quite oh, early on or so near the middle in a way. So I'm um, that's very good. A C is good. That's in the middle. And 29,000, that's a high score compared to the others. So that's very good. I've been waiting for you, Doctor. 
Now, I will show the glorious achievement of what the world's leading scientist, Professor Gerald, has created. The Ark was the first space colony created by mankind. Not many people know that the Ark contained a top secret research facility, where weapons of mass destruction were being created. This is one of them, a weapon capable of destroying an entire planet, codenamed the Eclipse Cannon. Destroying an entire planet? Was this my grandfather's legacy? But it's been deactivated for some time now. To reactivate it, large amounts of energy are necessary. That's why we needed the Chaos Emerald. Exactly. To reactivate the machine, we need the seven Chaos Emeralds. Once you have that, then you have the ultimate power of destruction to use as you please. And then, the world could be yours. <laughs> Sounds like a I like the way you think, Shadow. I will get the Chaos Emeralds. Use the machine to dominate the world and build a legacy empire. Do you really think own. it will be that easy? I've got a great idea. How about making a deal? A deal? When you grab that huge emerald, you said something about a reaction reaction that it may have with the Master Emerald. Now, if you could just let me borrow that radar, I may be able to help you. What do you if think? I do. What's in it for me? I have an idea where the other Chaos Emeralds may be. It may not look like it, but do you know that I am a treasure hunter that specializes in all kinds of jewels? Very well. Okay, then. It's a deal. I don't think we've been introduced. I'm Rouge the Bat, but you can call me Rouge. Having to come back isn't my idea of a vacation. <laughs> How can you be sure your intelligence reports are correct? Why would the Chaos Emerald be here on the island? Oh yeah, because he went back, didn't he? Well, well he was there before, be. sorry. Let's discuss how we are going to do this. I will go in first and distract the military troops, allowing you to sneak in the base without being detected. Then, Shadow will enter the armory, where he will set the timer on these dynamite packs. Once that is in place, we will blow up the whole island and get away before anyone has a chance to know what hit them. Meanwhile, you'll have to sneak into the cargo area and grab the chaos emerald. That's a challenge for such a worthy treasure hunter as yourself, isn't it, that girl? We only have 30 minutes to pull this mission off. And we'll I like how in this one it explains more of how things happened. Like the things we, you know, we weren't too sure about. Like, we were like, oh, how did that explosion happen? Alright, I'm gonna end it right here. Sorry for that, but, you know, we gotta end it somewhere because it is getting quite far into, into the story. Like this is quite a long video as it is at the moment. But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. Please me leave me a like if you enjoyed. Comment if you've got any suggestions or what you think of the game so far and all that good stuff. And don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date on my new videos that come out every single week. So until then, bye for now guys. <laughs>